the 2K Sports pregame show. Two teams, only one ring. Welcome to the finals on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith here to tip off the final chapter in this year's NBA story. It's game one of the finals. And the series tonight takes place in Oakland, where it'll be the Warriors going up against the Chicago Bulls. Looking at the Bulls, a tooth and nail series for them in the conference finals. It all came down to a deciding game seven. We can only hope these NBA finals contain just as much drama. And if you haven't been watching the playoffs, uh, shame on you. Uh, tonight, game one of the NBA finals. Shaq, what does one of these teams need to do to capture the championship? Well, they got to stay level-headed. Hey, let me downs. finish my question, will you? Well, I know what you're going to ask. Sorry. That's why they call me Shaq Shadamas. Okay. Anyway, I stay level-headed through the ups and Kenny, downs. how about you? Well, you know, big shots. Always the tournament. Shaq, how about you? Don't Kenny, get into Kenny, Kenny how about you? No, I, don't be stubborn. And don't get suspended. Don't get suspended. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Kevin Harlan as they get ready for our opening tip. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Game one of the NBA Finals. The Golden State Warriors delivered a four-game sweep to become conference champions. Now, the quest is for one ultimate goal. Just four wins away. The first chapter begins against the Bulls. The pinnacle of the postseason. The NBA Finals is here. Stage, the NBA Finals. It begins here, and 2K Sports is happy to bring it to you. This is Kevin Holland at the table alongside Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge from the sideline. We'll take a look at the Warriors and the top seed possessing home court advantage, and they're looking to come out and make a statement here in this first game. And it does not get any bigger than this. The NBA Finals, the world's attention fixed on this court tonight, but surrounded by the embrace of their home crowd. They'll look to start this series with a win. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Don and Levine, their backcourt. Arkin and Lopez are together down low, and it's Smith in at the three slot. Now here's Levine. Clock at five. To the inside. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Here's Curry. Fires for three. Rebound by Smith. Done. This is the local. Shot that one, missing. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. Let's it go from 11. Another miss by Curry. Warriors on D. It's a three point game. Inside, leaps for it, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. And a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Curry passes to Durant. Here's Pachulia. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Well, these interior looks are important for Zaza Pachulia, right? He's showing he's not just a defensive presence, but an offensive threat as well. Dunn gets to Markinen, and he gets the button. Well, the height advantage in this matchup becomes a big factor when he's in the low box. Bulls shooting their first free throw tonight. Free throw good for Markkinen. And, and Markkinen is 
showing the aggressiveness you like to see in a guy with his skill set. Somebody who doesn't lack confidence when he shoots the ball. Curry, this is the Durant. Some nice passing by Golden State. Yep, that one goes. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Boy, seizing control right away. Send a message on that position. Now, here's Dunn. To the middle. Here's Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This is one of college basketball's premier playmakers. Dunn showing great vision. Uh, green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. We just admire Draymond Green for so many things. This guy is a talkative, passionate guy who certainly fires up the group around him. For Chicago, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Now, here's Dunn, guarded by Kirk. Lopez hits to Smith. Oh. Oh. Wow. Listen, this guy is an impressive athlete, and what an impressive slam from J.R. Smith there. Special thanks to Under Armour for that speed replay we just saw. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Now here's Curry, pass to Pachul. Durant kicks to Thompson. It's three outside. Markinen pulls it in. Hey, we're not seeing the best quarter by this guy. He's lost his feel a little bit. Dunn kicks to Markinen. He nails it, and we're tied up. Markinen's got seven. Boy, the offense is really clicking. Four for five from the field to start. Nice. Outside, green. It's Durant on the wing. Six on the shot clock. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. The body control Kevin Durant has, my goodness gracious, takes the punishment and makes the shot anyway. Some changes for Golden State. JaVale McGee comes in for Zaza Pachulli. And Zigudawa in for Green. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. Ants comes in for Markinen. Justin Holliday's checked in for Levine. And it's Grant in for Chris Dunn. The Bulls have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. John Livingston, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. Now, here's Grant. Shot clock at six. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Durant kicks to Iguodala. And the jam by Andre Iguodala. As great a scorer as Kevin Durant is, he is an unselfish player and takes great pride in getting his teammates a good look. Now, here is Holiday. Out left of the wing. Durant against Grant. The feed to Nance. Bull shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. The first one falls, and the Warriors making a change here. Bell's checked in. He's off on the center. Warriors leading by three. Here's Iguodala. Smith with the defensive effort. The Bulls have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. 32 up here in the first quarter. That one goes. Count it. Well, you really like to see Smith go to work inside there. Always looking to expand on his game. Curry passes to McGee. The dish to Bell. 11 feet away. Good on the jump shot. 11 left to play in the first quarter. Outside Holiday. Down low. Warriors with the rebound. Oh, 
great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Well, that's just stellar interior defense. You can't ask for anything more than that. And J.R. Smith picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yes. On defense, the Bulls. They trail by three. Curry dishes the bell. Unable to get that one. Nance with some nice D. Grant kicks to Nance. Smith with a screen on Bell. Nance passes to Grant. Five on the clock. In the corner, Smith with it. And he hits it to tie the game up. Smith's got his third bucket of the night. And that's JR's specialty right there. The defense can't let him have a shot. I don't care what kind of range he's in. Stolen by Grant. Here's Fortis. And the Bulls, another three. You know, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking a three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D have already collapsed inside. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Bulls out front, leading by three. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And Kevin Durant always in the gym, always working to improve. We asked him where that inspiration and, and passion originated. It comes from me being eight years old and me just saying I want to be the best player. You know, first off, at eight years old, you want to be the best player in your neighborhood. And that's where it comes from. Just always want to be the best, and no matter where I'm playing at. And um, if I keep working each and every year by year improvements until he became the best player in the league and won an MVP now that first NBA championship. Right, Kevin. I mean, he's definitely proven in terms of the talent, the skill, and athleticism, and that competitive spirit to be considered still among the very best. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. And taking a look at Chicago's performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. I think one key is they've controlled the tempo so far, and I know it's early, but it helps to have this kind of lead. In a moment now, to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Golden State, look at who they got. Iguodala out there with Bell, then it's Curry, and there's JaVale McGee, and it's Livingston in at the shooting guard position. Now Nance, after the missed three from Iguodala, to the paint, it's Tim, there's Cordes, and denied, he sends it right off the glass. Green's checked in for Golden State, Ray Thompson comes in for Steph Curry. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Lopez, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. Markinen comes in for Larry Nance. Levine's checked in for Smith, and it's done in for Jaron Grant. Here's Holiday. The Warriors pull it in. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. And Thompson gets to lead it out. Here's a look at the 2K leader with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Second, Robin Lopez. Lowry Markinen, third. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. First one calls for. Well, I think the veteran and championship experience of Andre Iguodala is critical. This guy is a versatile forward who is well known for being a defensive stopper. The Warriors making a switch here. Pachulia's checked in. Well done. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Lopez a screen. Dunn dishes to Lopez. Down to five on the shot clock. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Durant stepped in for Golden State. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Fires the three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Well, Kevin Durant can just hurt you in so many different ways. He's almost unguardable when he's pulling that jump shot. Lopez a screen. 
time passes to Lopez. Levine against Thompson. Five to shoot. And Holiday kicks to Lopez. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Lopez has got his first pass. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Now, here's Livingston. He's covered closely. Picked by Petrulia. Green kicks to Petrulia. And Petrulia with the dunk. A terrific roll from Zaza Petrulia. Incredible how he sets tough screens and then cuts so quickly. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. Well, that's an example of two teammates on a different page. They're both looking at each other like, hey, what, what was going on there? Golden State's gone one or two on three quarters here in the second quarter. So Livingston kicks to Green. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Well, you have to respect how crafty Draymond Green is on the interior. Has the ability to get deep inside and finish with ease. Now here's Levine. Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points of the game. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the best. Just barely too late and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Steph Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Here is Durant. He has six. Down low. I divide Thompson and gets it to him. Outside for Curry. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Hulk loose. Green with a screen for Curry. Second shot opportunity. Gets hauled in by the Bulls. Outside, Levine. To the middle. Here's Markkinen. It's deflected. Well, once again, Pachulia turning the shooter away. Uses his length so well. And Green with the basket on the assist by Thompson. And that's now six points for Draymond Green. One fifty-two left in the first half of the game. Done. This is the Lopez. Green, Levine. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, spacing the floor with Levine hitting from range. The offense benefits greatly. Thompson passes to Green. The 11 footer. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Chicago has gone three or four from long range in the game. A minute 20 left to play in the first half. Here's Dunn, guarded by Kirk. Takes it to Dunn. Let's pray. No good on that one. And Golden State will come the other way. Outside Durant. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist on the night. Chicago trailing here. 55 seconds left in the second quarter. Markkinen sets the pick for Levine. Pass to Markkinen for three. That's another one for him. It is fifth in just seven shots. And staying aggressive on offense. Markkinen is always looking to score the basketball. This guy has really become a refined score. Now here's Thompson. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Thompson against Levine. Passes it to Lopez. Here's the screen. Back to Levine. Over Durant. Levine can't hit. It's three on three on the fast break. Thompson for three. Hope they get it back. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Bulls lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Joined by Steve Kerr. Coach, plenty of action in the first half. Probably too much for your point of view. What do you need to do to stop these guys? 
Well, we have to contain the ball. Their penetration is leading to a lot of those three-point shots. So, got to stay in front of the ball handlers and do a better job with that. But, you know, it's a long game. We like the pace. We like to play this way. And we feel like eventually our defense will kick in. Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime And show. a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. And guys, for the Bulls, they knew game one might be a hard-fought struggle, and tonight certainly has been met. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half to try and capture a 1-0 lead in this championship series. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? Well, their playmakers are showing up tonight, seeing the court well, moving the basketball. That's why they had so many assists in the first half. And they're not just relying on ISO plays to generate points. Jack, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Well, the low turnovers really stood out to me. They didn't get loose with it or make some passes. Nothing was forced. They had a nice flow to the offense. Guys knew where to be on the floor. That's the heads-up style of play they need to bring in the second half. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Picturesque Lake Merritt's the scene there as we welcome you back to Oakland. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. It's me. Chicago leading, so the Bulls five right now. Arkin and Lopez are together down low. Dunn and Levine, they're backward. And it's Smith in at the three slot. And here is Dunn. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Just five on the clock. Right through the knee for the layup. Dunn's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Bulls. Curry with it. Dishes to Durant. Durant drawing the double team. It's all in by the Bulls. Boy, the defense gets into his head and alters his release when he really doesn't have to. Smith picks to Markinen, and Markinen throws it down. And how about the hops there by Markinen? He knows not many guys can block that shot. Good at getting that deep post position. Outside, Green. Picked by Pachulia. Green, no luck. The Bulls leading by six. Levine dishes to Lopez. Screen by Smith. Lopez passes it to Smith. And it's done in the corner. He's looking for Lopez, and finds him. And you can sense they're starting to take charge here. Well, they seem to be taking control. There's no doubt about that. Quality shots on every possession with great execution. Curry gets to Durant. It's hauled in by Dunn. Hey, why take that contested shot? I mean, make the extra pass. That's head scratch. When the defense is in your grill, move the ball. Warriors trail by eight. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And that's out of bounds. Golden State Rollins in possession. Bell is checked in for Green. Chicago also making some changes. Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. Nance comes in for Markinen. And it's Grant in for Dunn. Curry outside. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Smith's got three rebounds now in this one. Nance with it. Guarded by Petulia. And Nance kicks to Portis. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Warriors have gone 0-4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find them all. Durant dishes to Curry. Pass to Beth. Misses and the dry spell continues. Ouch. 
punch. Five shots without a mate. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. We're picking against Thompson. Outside, Levine. Jacks up a three. Doesn't go for him. And Golden State will go the other way with it. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Here's the screen. Bell passes to Thompson. Feeds it to Pachulia. Makes it off the glass. Pachulia's got eight points. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. You know, he's kept attacking even when they've been trailing. Levine kicks to Nance. And then slams it in. Yeah, Levine finding the open man. The difference for him right now, playing under control. And the Warriors with some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Pachulia. And it's Iguodala in for Durant. And Chicago also making a switch. Holiday's checked in. Curry dishes to McGee. <laughs> And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leader, Steph Curry Fort. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. That's good from McGee. Both free throws, good from McGee. Chicago leading by seven. Here's Grant. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Holiday against Thompson. In the corner, Nance with it. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Bell. Bell's got his third rebound on the ninth. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Oh, Chicago has gotten fewer than half of their three points to go down tonight. They are four for nine. Here's Nance. It's going to be two free throws, Drew Contact on the shot. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Bulls have gone four for five from the charity strike in this one up to that. <laughs> so neither attempt will fall that time for them. Warriors trail by seven. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Trains the three-pointer. Well, the long-range game is just superb. Clay Thompson has built his career on his ability to shoot the range. Holiday goes in. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And the Bulls lead by six. Boy, the screen doing its job to perfection. One of the oldest plays in the book and still one of the best. Face up the screen. Iguodala kicks to Thompson. McGee a screen. Thompson passes to McGee. The rebound by Holiday. Holiday's got three rebounds so far in the game. Down low, Smith. Great pass to set up the way in. And now an eight-point Bulls lead. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. The screen from Thompson. Back to Iguodala. Got a hand on it. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. Smith against Iguodala. Smith outside. The pass to Portis. And he dumps it down. Oh, just a great job from Smith to draw the attention of the pick and roll and find the open man. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. Then for the Bulls. Markinen, he's checked in for Smith. And it's done in for Justin Holliday. Warriors trail by 11. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. On the wing, Green. Covered by Nance. McGee sets the pick for Curry. They get it back. The shot's good from McGee. The initial miss was the best thing that could have happened to them. He was in absolutely perfect position for the putback. Grant. That misses would have kind of had it gone in. And so it's Chicago. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. We've got more in store for you right after this.
And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Right now is when we go, good shot, great shot, right? Right now is when we talk on every screen down here and switch and, and ice and all the stuff we do on point. And Steve Kerr, this is what his teams do. They take away a lot of easy shots, easy baskets. Yeah, you, you heard it. Ice the screens. Communicate. Give me everything you've got defensively. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Igudala is at the three with Green playing the four. It's the Slash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. And it's McGee in at the center position. That's the Warriors' five. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Fantastic anticipation. Then he shows major explosiveness converting at the other end. Here's Green. Looks a big height bouncing goes in. Well, you're uncertain of what Draymond Green is going to do in the pick and roll. This guy has so much craft and dial on his game. Thompson against Levine. Here's Nance. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got his fourth assist in this one. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Curry, wide open, and they come right back with their own three-point. Well, that's the shot we all come to expect from Steph Curry. When he's on his game, he's capable of making threes at a historic rate. Portis kicks to Markinen. Done with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. That's to Markinen. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. Uh -huh. Eight for 11 shooting so far. Well, he's one of those guys who's kept their offense clicking. They're in front, thanks in no small part to what this guy's done. That's some changes here for the Warriors. Pachulia comes in for JaVale McGee. And Durant subbed in for Andre Iguodal. And a change for the Bulls. Lopez has checked in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last time out. He was not happy with their defensive performance. He said they're getting everything they want. We've got to show them we can't let that happen. You have to make a stand. You have to get some stops. And that'll get us going on a run. Guys? Thompson for the triple. Bangs on the trifecta. Come on, Ken. That's almost unfair. This guy stepped across the half-court line, and you've got to guard him from that spot. Lopez, no up. Warriors trail by eight. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Thompson for the triple. And it's Thompson again missing. Well, this is a tough night so far. They keep smart to rely more on a couple of their other options. Here's Nan. Oh! And you got to like the vision for marketing. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Special thanks to Under Armour for that sweet replay we just saw. Another Unleashed Chaos moment. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing down on the threes in time. The feed now to Dunn. He kicks it to Lopez. Curry with the steal. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. Yep, it counts. Curry's got eight here in the court. One of the best ever at embracing the moment. Step up to the challenge. A bit under three and a half minutes of pass here in the fourth. Levine kicks to Lopez. Here's Dunn. Traps in the tray. And the Bulls lead by eight. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Curry outside. And another three for Golden State. Absolutely essential that they come right back and answer with that three of their own. And this gets the crowd energized. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Lowry Markinen. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. That's checked in for Larry Nance. The Bulls leading by five. 
Lopez is 3-9 Kirk. Now, here's Dunn. He dishes it to Lopez. To the inside. Shot clock at six. And it's in there. You know, how about the big fella making the right play there to create that bucket? Golden State's gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. First foul. Here's Thompson. Durant dishes the curve. Hope they get it back. The screen from Thompson. Got a piece of it. And the officials into the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. One thirty-five left to play here on the fourth. Lopez is screen on Kirk. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Levine against Thompson. Lopez, a screen on Thompson. Six to shoot. And it's Lopez. One time on the assist by Levine. And now a 10-point Bulls lead. Golden State's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Curry passes to Durant. Picked by Pachulia. Thompson in the post. Covered by Smith. That one misses. And guys, you can go ahead and put game one in the record books. Exactly how they wanted to kick off this series against a tremendous opponent. Big win for the Bulls. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for Lowry Markinen. Boy, what a security blanket this guy has been on the offensive end. He made sure they didn't suffer any cold spells. And any time the offense started to get stagnant, they could get him the basketball, and he'd get them in the right position. Well done. Inside. It's stolen by Curry. To the paint. Durant kicks to Pachulli. There's Green with the three. And he's good on the three ball. Well, you have to respect how aggressive Draymond Green is. If he's got the ball in his hands, he's ready to fire. And so it's Chicago winning this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals.